So what we need to do now is just add some inertia. And then it's going to create one here really quickly. So if you've seen the last tutorials, you know exactly what I'm doing. So we just need to publish this. Okay, just the value and output the value. Okay, so we're going to connect the result to Spring uh, Center and the output to X. I'm going to call that X. Uh, copy this down. Connect that to Spring Center and the output to Y. And we're just going to call that Y. And then uh, Command 1 to change our, um, just our bounce rate and stiffness and make it look a little bit better. Uh, so we're just going to change the friction to 5 and the stiffness to 30. I probably should have done the same when I copied it, but yeah, here we go. Now if we press up, we get a much more natural um, and nicer effect, uh, more like what we saw in uh, the Facebook Home demo. Yeah, and that looks better than my original demo as well, which had it just come in from the left to, from right to left in a very linear motion. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is um, get the chat bubble to just appear once uh, this chat head comes in. And we're going to control that too by pressing uh, the down arrow key. So we're going to copy this here. Copy the JavaScript. This in here. And we're just going to change the JavaScript values a little bit. So for the bubble, we're going to um, say if it's uh, more than zero or greater than zero, we're going to give it a value of 0 0.07. We're just going to copy this. And here we're going to say if it's equal to zero or if it's greater than or equal to um, 1.7 and the output of that is going to be 0.11. So what we need to do is bring in our little chat bubble, where is it? Uh, here we go. And we connect that to a billboard. And hook up image to image. And we're going to give it a width of 0.24 and a Y position of 0.3. So just maybe um, copy this down here and hook that into Spring Center and into X position. And we're going to change the um, parameters here to friction is 8 and stiffness is 100. So if we press down now, we get a little motion and after a certain length of time, which is 1.7, as we stated in our JavaScript here, which is being fed in by our stopwatch here, which as you can see is still running. But when we do press down, it resets the stopwatch and starts from zero. And once it gets to 1.7, it pushes our chat bubble from left to right. However, it's still, um, still visible. So we just need to change the opacity. And basically what we're going to do here is copy these down. Uh, add a HSL color. And you can use another patch as well. I saw someone in their compositions they use a different 
uh, patch to change the opacity, so use whatever you want. So I basically just copy this JavaScript patch and change the values um, for the greater than zero uh, conditional, we we'll change it to one, and for the next one, zero. So we bring this in. Yeah, so that looks pretty good there. And we're just going to um, lower it below our chat head. So we press down, and it goes under. That looks good. And also, what I uh, really or what I noticed in the um, demo, uh, which Mark Zuckerberg gave, was that it sl got slightly bigger. It didn't travel too much from right to left, but it got slightly bigger and slightly smaller as it went away. So we're going to do that too. And that's basically a very similar process to before. And we're just going to connect this up here. I'm going to say if it's greater than zero, it's going to be uh, 0.24. Otherwise, 2.2. Two. 0.22. We're going to connect that to our width. So we press down. Yeah, you can kind of slightly see. It's a very small um, effect on the overall uh, transition, but I think it adds to it a little bit. And it's closer to the real thing. So the next thing we need to do is bring up a notification when the chat bubble disappears. This is easily done by using a multiplexer to replace this image here. So the first thing we're going to do is get a multiplexer. And also bring in our chat head too. Sorry, chat head, Dalo. So we just bring that in from our assets and connect that to source one. And we're just going to connect chatted to to source zero, and connect the output to our image. And you can rename these if you want, because I did name them wrong. So the next thing we need to do is just copy a JavaScript and connect the time which controls our chat bubble to the um, input of our JavaScript, we press Command 2, and basically what we want to say is if it's greater than 1.7, we're going to give it a value of 1, which is our notification um, image. Otherwise, um, we we'll just use the one that we see currently. And you can change this line to just else. And we're going to connect that to source. So if we restart the composition, we press up to bring it in and down to bring in the chat bubble. And as it disappears, we see the image being replaced with the notification image. 